from the upcoming So Lovely to Meet Hi, You. Hi, nice to meet you. So last Christmas you got Emma Thompson working with Henry Golding. Yes. How, what was this experience like for you? It was amazing. It was probably the happiest filming experience I think I've ever had. It was really wonderful. What a contrast to Game of Thrones, you know. What was it like to play, be in such a different role? I know. Well, the thing is, that's what I've just been saying. I was acting my socks off on Game of Thrones for 10 years. Like, this is way more me than, she, than Khaleesi is. So it was kind of an easy thing to slip into. And, you know, with, um, with the music, with, you know, from Wham, from George Michael, were you always a fan? What was it like that he'd given his blessing for the music to be used? Yeah, I think you kind of can't be from the UK without having grown up listening to George Michael's music at, mo at like, decades throughout your life. And, and um, I'm, I'm no exception. I absolutely love George Michael's music, and he just, just, yeah, lifts your spirits. Yeah, definitely. I think Emma Thompson's and Greg Weiss's writing is sublime, and I think they wrote an incredibly real character that you can empathise with and relate to. And she's, you know, she's a young girl just trying to find her feet. That's something that we can all understand. And especially because of what happened um, with your own personal journey. Oh, here she is. Yes! The Queen has God, you were cold again. You were cold throughout the entire shoot, and now you're cold again. I know. Why do we do this to you? I we just tortured know. you all last Christmas, and now we're torturing you this Christmas as well. Please, God, I've, got, I've actually got a question for the both of you. Now, yes. This movie has a lot of kind of dark undertones and kind of xenophobia and Brexit. Was that important for you guys to portray as well as the light-heartedness of this movie as well and the comedy aspect? Yeah, I mean, it's just real life, isn't it? It was important to us that we showed real life yeah. and not a pretend version of it. And because it's set in a very specific time, 2016, and because the family, me, the mum and M, that we are an immigrant family, of course, things like Brexit are very frightening to folk like that. So, of course, it was part of it. But it's very lightly done and it's not a yeah. political movie in that sense at all. Everything! <laughs> Thompson told me, find what brings you joy, and I haven't forgotten it. And it happens to be her. Come on, we've had one of those Goodness, Emma Thompson, Paul Fee, Henry Golding. There's a few. There's a few good things. Oh God, I think I, I think I tried a few warbles in the shower before I walked on it, and that's about it. I <laughs> know. Yeah. I don't read any of that. No, 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 no. There's. Um. I don't think there's. I honestly don't think there's any need. I never Google myself. I did it for one year after Game of Thrones and was like, oh, I'm I'm happy with the size of my bum. Thank you very much. I don't need anybody else to tell me that. So um. So I learned very quickly not to do it because the thing is, is that when someone writes something god awful about you, and when someone writes something incredible about you, someone's gonna tell you. You don't need to look for that. That's all right. Just leave that alone. Well, I have. Um, I'm. I've got a production company that I started, and I'm writing a lot. So the next thing I hope for my role for a role is um, is what I've made for myself. Right now, I'm trying to take a bit of downtime, but then I decided to start a production company and a charity. So I'm a little bit busy. <laughs>